Hello and welcome back to the Akabaka here on the Racing Post YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. This is the show that puts together a football accumulator for you to have a little go on at the weekend. We've got our top tipsters here, Mark Langdon and Dan Childs. It's been a good few weeks. It was just Oxford letting us down last week, Mark. Yeah, a lot of injuries, unfortunately, for Carl Robinson's team. Um, seemed to derail them at, at the last minute, but it was, it was still a decent effort and Dan Wild card came in, didn't it? A really nice price along. Was it Walsall, wasn't it? Yeah, Walsall scored with their only shot on target. To, <laughs> in the uh, game as well, uh, wasn't they, it? They, they won, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Well, hopefully a few of you at home are on Walsall. Let's get straight into this week's accumulator. Mark, we'll start with you. What's your first tip? Yeah, sort of right towards the top of the Premier League. Manchester United to beat Everton um, on Sunday at Old Trafford. United, for all the criticism that they've had, and I think they've had a fair bit, uh, um, you know, not only this season, but for about the last five or six years, um, their performance particularly at Old Trafford this season have been pretty good yeah. uh, they, they've beaten Tottenham beaten Chelsea they've beaten Leicester they've drawn with Liverpool and then of course they, they won the derby last week away mm. to um, you know to, to Manchester City Rashford playing really well uh, and I felt that that performance against Tottenham was very impressive I yeah. felt um, they, they, they thoroughly deserved the victory uh, Tottenham were lucky to it was only 2-1, they, they controlled the game sort of in midfield and then they showed their counter-attacking ability against Manchester City and I just think as far as Everton go... I it was a good win though for, for, for Ferguson wasn't it? It, it, it really was, um, when we talk Ferguson, you yeah. wrote think of Man United <laughs> but uh, yeah it, it was, it was, a, it was a, a good win and a big win for, for, for Big Dunk. I just feel that with Ferguson and Goodison, it was the perfect sort of marriage really. They it got them going, they were flying into tackles. Not sure how sustainable that is. And I also think away from home, Everton have been a completely different team anyway. We've seen Everton play quite well at times at Goodison, even under Marco Silva. It's really away from home they've had their issues. They've only won twice at Old Trafford in the Premier League year. I, I don't think they'll be winning again. Manchester United go into the accumulator. Uh, Dan, where are we going here? Right down to, to League Two. Um, crew at home to Mansfield. Crew uh, in the playoff positions at the moment, but I think they'll be eyeing up at one of those top three uh, places. Uh, widely regarded as one of the best footballing teams in League Two. Second highest scorers in the division with 32 goals. And Mansfield are expected to be up there this season, but they're, they're down struggling in 18th place. Uh, John Dempster, the manager, uh, struggled to, to get the performances from a team that's, you know, quite a bit of money was spent, you know, back, back in, in, in the summer there, and it's not really clicked. Uh, you, you look think about the likes of Maynard up front there. You're expecting big things. Uh, it's just not going well for them. Last three games, haven't even scored a goal. Not had a win in four games. Last match uh, at the weekend, they lost 3-0 at home to Cheltenham. Fans were very, very disappointed. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that, that John Dempster uh, has really survived, yeah. you know, to, to lead them into this game. So, uh, I mean, they're only six points off the bottom of the table. So, it's kind of relegation they're, 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 they're fearing rather than, you know, trying to get towards the playoffs. And uh, I think their poor run will continue. I fancy crew to win here. Yeah, I think we're all quite keen on Mansfield at the start of the season but we're opposing them here crew are the second pick um, mark what's your second pick uh brushy dortmund to win at mainz uh, this is a two clubs very very well connected if you think that jürgen klopp thomas tuckle both yeah. came from from mainz and then went on to do good things with Borussia dortmund dortmund uh, had a little sticky spell but i think they're past that and qualifying for the last 16 in the champions league would be absolutely and he just got past they, slavia yeah, prague they, 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 uh, slavia prague actually a good side right. um they they, they picked up points against Barcelona and also Inter so any win I think is a good win against them and it was with 10 men um, Sancho on target again yeah. um, he, he's playing brilliantly once more after I think what was a really bad spell for him mm -hmm. personally and then there was all this talk of him leaving and not being um, sort of feeling the love from the club but uh, recent performances from Dortmund have been really good they're back in the Bundesliga title race like I say they qualified for the last 16 of the Champions League Mainz haven't kept a clean sheet this season they've had a change of manager which I think has definitely it's been a, a bounce for them but they've not played a team at the standard of Dortmund um, during the, this bounce and like I say no clean sheet all season that's not what you want when you're playing against Sancho and talking Hazard and players like that. From one great footballing side in Crew to another in Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Dan what's your second pick? And to another great football inside in League Two which is uh, the lead of Swindon at uh, home to Oldham. You like Swindon yes, don't you? I do yeah. like Swindon. I, 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 it's, it's, 
you know, so you're not you're not uh, reinventing the wheel here. Looking at Swindon, you're thinking of the, you know they score lots and lots of goals. You think of uh, Owen Doyle, 18 goals. I mean, and the second top scorer in League Two is Jerry Yates with 10 goals. That the problem they're going to have if you you're looking forward, both of those are lone players. So you've got Doyle from Bradford, Jerry Yates from Rotherham. I mean, there's a, there's, there's a bit of a worry what's going to happen in January. You know, that's that's uh, you know not to worry about going into this weekend for the moment. Oldham, you know, have got the the, the tough task of trying to you know shackle those players. Oldham have actually picked up a little bit and beaten in the last uh, last five. Dino Marmaria has thrown a little bit of injected a little bit of life into a squad that was you know really dramatically underperforming uh, earlier this season. Have brought uh, brought a few experienced players into midfield. McCann's come in, who's played at a much higher level as well in midfield. But I just think this game, I mean, Swindon away is probably the toughest game you're going to get at the moment, yeah. especially with those those four players I've mentioned in League Two. And uh, no, I think uh, Swindon will, will go and win this game comfortably. Your little Swindon bet nearly came in last week, didn't it? Well, he scored. He scored. He scored early enough. He, uh, I really fancied. Once he got the early goal, you really fancied him to get the second one. Unfortunately, it was Yates that took Yates the got second. The other two. Yeah, he got yeah, the other yeah, two, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've liked Swindon, just back them two, I think. That's yeah. the best way of getting with them. I got a little excited last week. Um, that fourfold pays roughly 17 to 2. Please do shop around for the best prices. And as always, we'll be getting a wild card from both to make it into a sixfold. Mark, where are we going? Uh, to League One, Sunderland um, really? again, against Blackpool. Uh, this is, I think, is a is a great game for if Netflix were doing a documentary series on anybody, and of course we know they are. Um, you know, this is the, the game to focus on, isn't it? Because Sunderland, having made yet another managerial appointment this time in Phil Parkinson, they're taking on the man that was kind of uh, became a sort of he was mocked wasn't he? he became the laughing stock of that first series Simon Grayson's Blackpool yeah. how he would love to go back to the Stadium of Light and sort of shut them up and I think he's got a good opportunity because Sunderland are in a, a terrible state at the moment they appointed Phil Parkinson a couple of months ago um, since then they've dropped down to the middle of, of League One and they've been knocked out of three cup competitions fans were singing you don't know what you're doing to him in last week's defeat at Gillingham McGeady was on the bench and there's clearly Things are not going well for him there, and Blackpool, on the other hand, scoring lots of goals. That they're, they're sort of, you know, they're looking like a playoff team at the moment. Beat Fleetwood last time out. It just looks like a really good sort of time, I think, for an away team to head to the Stadium of Light because the the natives are restless, and uh, we've all seen the documentary series. We know what happens when they get restless. Um, it becomes a really difficult place to play. Blackpool, um, I think, uh, around about three to one, really big price. Great stuff. Blackpool, go in. Dan, what about you? Yeah, I mean, just, just quickly, I would, I would agree with that as well. I mean, Blackpool would be on my short list, you know, bets for this week. I mean, Andrew Lake came back, uh, the big man from injury. Uh, the, the last game I think, against Fleetwood, uh, and, and talk about sh shutting people up. I mean, they, they kind of sh um, Grayson did sh shut Barton up, didn't he, last weekend? Yes. Joey Barton going into that game had a lot to say, <laughs> saying about how his team had got uh, far better players, and, uh, and Blackpool did a real job on them. But um, no, I mean, no, no, my wild card. I'm going, going back up now to the Premier League and uh, Newcastle away to Burnley. Yeah. I just think they're a little bit overpriced, really, at, 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 the, at the betting. One defeat in seven games, uh, Newcastle. Everybody's thinking that Steve Bruce. So probably a lot of their own fans uh, weren't really keen on his arrival, to, to put it mildly. And uh, but actually, he, right. he's he's doing a good job, you know, up into the, you know, around the top the top half of the table now. And uh, you know, a couple of win, two wins in a row. Um, on the stats, a lot of people are saying that the game at Sheffield United when they won 2-0, they kind of nicked the game a little bit, but I watched the game and actually when they were 1-0 up, you know, lots of balls being rained into their box and they were dealing with them really, really comfortably, always looked like they might be a threat on the counter-attack and that's how they scored their, you know, the, 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 the clinching goal. Now the worry is uh, Sam, Sam Maximin, who's a lot of that counter-attacking threat, he's, he's injured for, for a spell, so that is a downside. But you've got plenty of upsides there. They're very good with set pieces. Uh, defensively, they're, they're the right sort of team to handle the, the, the you know the, the direct threat that you get from set piece and corner, corners all the time with Burnley. They usually defend that really well. And they've got a little bit of stardust in midfield with John Joe Shelby, who scored in each of his last three games. He's the sort of player that I don't think Burnley have, have really got in their side. Match-winning player. I just think you know at the prices take a chance on Newcastle. Great stuff, gents. Well, thank you as always. Um, there's a little sixfold for you to get your teeth into this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Please do gamble responsibly if you do have a little flat on this and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>